Yep, I called it last Tuesday's outfit. We're under your rotation, Betty Lou. Do I have any messages? Oh, it looks like you do, and it's urgent. Bradford needs to see you in his office immediately. Any other messages, like from this year? Like from alive people? Mark, let's try again. I can't live without you, Toby. Mandy, this is from six months ago. Honestly, I did you a favor. He had that awful red hair. Are you sure I don't have any other messages? Yes, that is it. Why are you all up in my grundle? I just saw Henry get into a cab. <gasps> oh my god, are you sure it was him? Because it is pretty normal to think you see people after they die. Andy, Henry didn't die. He just dumped Benny and moved to Tucson to raise his bastard child with his slutty ex-girlfriend. Oh, cool. Why would he be here? Hey, if he calls, do you want me to tell him that you're out or that you're busy or that a tribe of mole people kidnapped you and made you their queen? Could you please just put him through? Thanks. To Benny. Hater of pigeons, lover of vintage porn. Wow. Today really has been the worst day. <sighs> Matt hates me. This assignment is a dead end. And I am so mad at Daniel. I know. He is such an idiot. What the hell is wrong with Wilhelmina? I know. Daniel is such an idiot. But it's not like you haven't already given her your blood, sweat, and tears. I get practically cut arteries open for that woman. You know who I think the real idiots are? The two of you. You're a mean drunk. Seriously, you are such whiners. Not to mention, you are totally letting me down. If one of you freak shows doesn't pull ahead, then who am I supposed to glom on to? And yes, I bring the pretty and the sparkly. But shockingly, sometimes that's not enough. You know, Mark, with your brains, and Betty, with your Aztec build, there is nothing the two of you can't do. So what are we supposed to do? I don't know. I'm so drunk. My jock strap is starting to dig in. I'll be right back.